So, uh, we were all out uh, last week at an event for teachers learning how to use Construct 3 in the classroom. And, you know, we thought this would be really good because we good to see how teachers, learn, how teachers use Construct 3, how beginners use Construct 3, uh, things like this. Uh, funnily enough, we learn things ourselves, <laughs> which was quite amusing. So one of the things that, one of the parts of the course they were doing was that you had to, uh, a grid on, go. Uh, you had to uh, display a score and where uh, the instructions were to make it more visible on the background. Uh, you're going to add a background color to the sprite font, which is fine. Uh, you know, we'll we'll do that here quickly. I'll undo all the changes in a minute, but using the fill tool, uh, this is fine. But uh, I've got bits I have to, uh, I've got bits I have to fill in. That's really annoying. I could, as the instructions told me, uh, cut the sprite font out and uh, fill the background, and then paste the sprite font back down. Or we can press this magic button here. I don't know what not flood fill is called, but. If we disable flood fill, we can fill everything without an issue. It's lovely and much less effort. So yeah, if you ever want to fill a background without having to faff around filling holes in, disable flood fill, fill to your heart's content. Yeah, that's a thing. Fun when you learn things when you're not expecting to. 